week, week unknown of the beer blog. This is a very impromptu beer blog. Uh, post or current birthday celebrations. Now it's past my birthday. It's 12. Past 12. So. Um, hey, what's his birthday? Here we have it. Rogue Voodoo Donut Bacon Maple Ale. A donut. A donut. <laughs> ale brewed with natural flavors. Okay, so. description on that. Okay, beer blog. You're gonna be it. You're in, Tommy. You're in. Get in here. Uh, brewed and bottled by Rogue Ales. It just lists the ingredients. Nothing special. Dedicated to Trace and Cat Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the Rogues of Voodoo Donuts. So here's my first thought. Can I try this? It, we're, we haven't tried it yet. Oh, patience, Tommy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, new to this. I'm new to this. Here's my first thought. It, a bacon maple ale. Now, my friend Nate, old man Bill back here, uh, works at a tree farm. He loves maple flavored anything. So I see this beer and I instantly think, Nate would kill me if I didn't buy this. He would kill me. So I bought it. It's a true story. There it is. Verified. So I bought it. Second of all, it's a bacon maple ale with donuts. Where, where do the donuts come from? <laughs> so it's, it's probably the weirdest beer I've, I've ever seen. It's got Canadian flags, it's got pigs, it's got a dude holding a brew with a, what is this, a power fist? <laughs> <laughs> I just, and it's got little piggies on it too. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's, I just, <laughs> it's so strange. How do you not buy this? Anyway, so I, I went to Horrocks on a Friday. It was, I went back on a Sunday. Half of them were gone, so I figured out I better buy it. Not only because Nate needed me to buy this, but because it was going to sell out if I didn't. So I bought it, and we're going to try it. Yes. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> what? That's not what that's not no. what I expected. It's not the color of bacon. Oh, Where's the bacon chunks? chunks? Did you describe the smell of it? Not yet, we haven't got there. Oh, yeah. I definitely it's a little swirly. It was be darker. I did too. I was expecting maybe like a stout. <laughs> uh as you can see, this is a typical lager color, I would say. Maybe a little bit more orangey, maybe kinda of like an Oberon color. A little bit. Pink beer, pink glass. It's got it's got good carbonation. There's a little bit of rolling carbonation, which is nice. It keeps it keeps it fresh. You set it down. Um. <laughs> it smells like. It smells like a campfire. Like, <laughs> it smells like it smells like smoked bacon. Yes, it does. It does. Yeah. If I were to smoke bacon in a smoker in the backyard, yeah, the smell would infiltrate smell. the house. Yeah, I would love that smell all day, every day. No, I just, like, I would. But why would you want to drink smoked bacon? Why not? Because it's fucking bacon. Don't drink it yet. How about you get a water bed and fill it with this? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, why don't you just, you know, leave a griddle of bacon sitting in the corner, too, for a while? Drink the oh, my God. That's what it smells like to me. I don't, I don't know how they can get a bacon smell into beer. Wes. I just, I, that, that's what really perplexes me. What? Don't drink it. Yeah. I, was, I was getting close. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Uh, this is Will's first beer blog, by the way. Oh, okay. Would you like to step into the picture, Will? This is my first beer blog. Oh, All right, we got two newcomers. This is Will. I'm newcomer Will. Hello. This is Tommy. Hello. Hey. <laughs> both, both, uh, I wouldn't say kind of sewers. Both people who enjoy microbrews, weird beers, similar to the rest of us. So we got a, we got a good audience here. Let's try. Yeah. It's I'm <laughs> also, I'm an individual who's tasted bacon A's. I've tasted bacon oh. A's. Oh. Like the mayonnaise ah. bacon? Yeah. Is oh. it, do you yeah. like it? Is it good? You know what? The problem with it is the artificial bacon flavor tastes like... More like a Slim Jim than. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, not satisfying. I threw it away. Ooh. Not satisfying. Uh, yeah. Which is what I predict this beer is going to be. Uh, the more smell, the worse it gets. <laughs> I've got, I've got all right, I'll tell you. let's let's give this thing a try. What's the laugh or what? What? The farther it goes, the worse it gets. Yeah, I taste. <laughs> I taste like. I'm yeah. so afraid after all your reactions. <laughs> oh, oh, it goes the worst it gets. Yeah. Antique oh. wood smoke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the farther it goes, the worse it gets. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Do we have a chaser? Right. <laughs> no, There's water. Do you want some uh, water? Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Anybody else want it? I want to suck chug of water or something. So old man Bill here think... runs a sausage mill on the side. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he's been doing it for about 800 years. And he took, finally decided to upgrade his cabin. And he took the wood and smoked his beer with it. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm just this, it, It's incredibly, incredibly smoky. And for some reason... I don't even want to drink it's it. It's not anymore. a typical smoking. No, it's a weird smoking. I feel like for some reason as the taste goes on, you almost get some like somewhat of a like a smoked donut flavor. <laughs> I, I see that now. <laughs> I know that now. It's, it tastes kind of like a, like a drier like Krispy Kreme that was like housed <laughs> over too long. A bacon Krispy Kreme. Oh, way over. Cream. Yes. <laughs> a bacon Krispy oh, wow. Kreme that's been way over smoked, way overcooked, and it's probably two years expired. <laughs> that's how. That's how I would describe this. That is terrible. Someone put their battery up to it. I just. I. This. This is something else. The longer I taste it on my palate, the worse it gets. Yeah. The the longer you wait for this thing to to trickle over your taste buds, it is. It just gets worse. <laughs> it gets it gets drier. It gets smokier, and the, that smoky taste. It's not a. That it's not like a stout yeah. smoky taste. It's like a it's gross, terrible, old smoky. smoky yeah. taste to me. Yeah, it doesn't taste yeah. like the typical oak smokiness. No, it's like uh. You, you know, now that you, you get a little bit of the maple maybe in there. Oh, worse coming up. It's more like a, <laughs> it's more like a hickory smoke. It actually, a hickory smoke. It actually yes. tur- tastes like a burn barrel that we used to burn every weekend, like trash, yeah. burning trash. <laughs> Why did you used to taste that? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, may- you get maybe a little bit of the maple sweetness in there, but the the you know bacon like overly hickory smoky overtones are just Ugh. insanely overpowering. Oh, just, awesome. The smell was pretty good though, right? It smelled good. The smell good. was it smelled good. like breakfast. Like so, I would eat all day, but then I tasted it. And I have you need so somebody like off a pancake and in your mouth and, and you start drinking. That might taste better. Oh yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's like someone liquefied it and was like, here's your breakfast. As someone who has experience with bacon A's, this is like like 50-50 between like the great smell that I experienced and the shitty taste <laughs> well put, of well bacon A's. Like the shitty Slim Jim esque taste of bacon A's. Like that's exactly what I experienced. It's weird. Very disappointing. What a weird. It's very disappointing. So maybe that's why this guy's holding up his face. Like, hold up. <laughs> he should have held up his hands. Stop. Please stop. So it looks like he's holding a pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fuck. Show, show, him the, show him the picture. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like it's on the page. <laughs> Wait. This is uh, the so right Let's let's give this thing a rating. Um, for you, what's the scale? For you, it's a zero to five scale. Zero being you would not wish this on your worst enemy in the world. Five being you would drink this all day, every day, if it would not make you an alcoholic. Three, That's not a, a three, five. A three. <laughs> a three being a very okay, very we're average. Gonna, we're gonna will first, very and average. Then... And then keep going. Let's 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 go around the horn and then we'll get to them. Drew, oh, okay. Drew will go first. You've, you've been in a few of these. Uh, all right. Um, I, I gotta admit, this is pretty bad. I'd, I'd have to give this one a one. Yeah, go ahead and try this one, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. 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 Try it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. That was very organic. Drew yeah, gives it a one. Right. Eric, yeah. Eric, go ahead. Did you get it? I gave it a one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with Drew. Uh, the lo- the longer it sits on your tongue, the worse it gets. It it's a one for sure, if not worse. Aaron, I might even give it a zero. Let's be honest. Oh my! Oh, wait, wait. Oh. This is the worst beer you've ever had. Probably. It's close. All <laughs> it's right. not the worst. I'll go ever. point five. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, Nate, who loves maple, loves bacon, loves everything this beer is about. Go ahead. I want to give it a two five, but I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a two, solid two. Okay, that's a bold uh, rating. But, <laughs> but I feel like it's not something I would wish on my worst enemy or any of that. But you should try it. Like it's bad, but it's it's just something you've never experienced. Yeah, it's it's a good bad. Okay, it's a good bad. Okay. It's like try everything once. It, brought, it brought us some laughs. Yeah, that's, that's right. how bad it was. That's right. That's All right. right. Uh, Tell me, yeah. would you like to it give was, it a rating? I would give it a one. It's not as bad as like Batch Nine Thousand or that weird Mediterranean beer. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but um, yeah, it's it's kind of bad to drink, at least. To smell, well, it's fine. Smell, I'd give it a three. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with the smell comment, but on uh, taste, I'm gonna give it. I give it a one and a half, maybe two. 
But that's pretty much just because it has alcohol. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I've had a lot of beers in my lifetime. And this is by in far... My lifetime, you're, you're my, I, lifetime. Yeah, 24 in one day, thank you. Oh. Um, <laughs> this is the second worst beer I've ever had. See, thank you. Oh, no. In wow. my entire life. No way. Wow. I'm giving this a point one. Uh-huh. Because oh what was the worst one had? The what only beer I've had that's worse than this is Batch 9000. Yes. Re- oh. Reference by Tommy. Would you say that people should at least try it given the opportunity? No. <laughs> I'm not paying for it. But free. No. Free? I. If it was free, yes, I, I would say go if ahead. Curious. Tr- if you're curious, if you like microbrews, if you just like trying weird beers, yes, that's the only value. That's the only reason I give it a point one. Honestly, maybe I'll give it a point two because it has style. <laughs> it's, it's got a nice pink it's, if you like, I, I bought it if you so. like bacon A's this is a 5 if you like bacon if you like weird smoky hickory flavors or if you like eating poop <laughs> <laughs> maybe you would like this beer <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm giving you this you have no taste buds you'll like this beer <laughs> Uh, this this is easily the second worst beer I've ever had in my entire life. So Zoe likes this beer. <laughs> Zoe would not even drink this beer. I'm sorry, but um, all right, that's that's it for this week. So farewell.